New tonight, we're hearing from the sister of a man who was killed with his girlfriend at a birthday party in the Katy area. The couple and the man celebrating his birthday were killed there on Russet Leaf Lane Trace. And tonight, we obtain new surveillance video capturing some of the chaos. ABC 13's Alex Bojarjian joins us now with some of that video you'll only see on 13, Alex. The video shows what appears to be a woman yelling and she's running, telling her friends to run as well. And then you hear tons of gunshots ring out and two separate cars drive by the security camera. So given investigators telling us that about 10 to 20 people were at this gathering, we asked them, do they have a suspect or vehicle description at this point? They tell me they had nothing to release tonight. It's unclear who, but someone tied to a Katie shooting that killed three people was running for their lives that night. No the timestamp shows the person runs out of view at around 2.13 a.m. And not too long after, a car flies by. A different camera on the same house then picks up what sounds like rapid gunfire. And then another car flies by. The shooting started here at this short-term rental during a birthday party, according to investigators. Lauren Welch says her brother Nicholas King and his girlfriend Alicia Rice went together. And by morning, her family got word of a triple homicide at the same address. The family rushed to the scene, and their grief unfolded in front of our camera. I looked over, and I saw his car. And shortly thereafter, the deputy on the scene delivered the news to me and confirmed that they were inside, and I, you can never describe that moment. I watched you watch them take both of them out of that house, and you reached out your hand. I remember seeing that. All I could think was that's my brother. It was like I could see the different compositions of their body, and we couldn't cross the caution tape, and it was just like, I think that's my brother. Maybe. According to the medical examiner, Michael Abodo was also shot and killed. Allegedly, the birthday party was for him. The report says King and his girlfriend died together in the kitchen of the home. I know that he wouldn't want wanted to have lived, you know, without her. When I think about other scenarios where one could have made it and the other couldn't, I don't think they could have made it through that. Alicia was headed to law school, according to Welch, and King was preparing to propose. The two had already blended their families. I want to know what happened. You know, I've seen little bits of, you know, ring cameras and what have you, and that's not enough. There were multiple people there that know what happened and know more. Like, I just hope that they come forward. In Houston, I'm Alex Bozargian, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.